All right, so the last thing that we're going to say in this particular lesson about uh, the short run and the long run is we're going to talk about um, profit and loss in the short run and the long run. This is a really important topic. In fact, one of the reasons why it's so important to learn about the short run and the long run is because of uh, the effects of the short run and the long run on decision making regarding profit and loss. And so here we have uh, the short run situation. Here we have the long run situation. And then along the top we have the profitable situation. And along the bottom we have the loss. So in the short run, a company that is profiting, so that's what we're saying here, is in, this is a company that's making short run decisions and they're earning profit. And the good news is that profits in the short run, they can be sustained. So if your company is profiting with your limited fixed resources and the decisions you're making about your variable resources and day-to-day -day business activities, you can keep that up. You can keep profiting. Just know that the short run is eventually going to end. It's only going to last for so long. Okay, But while you're profiting, you can sustain those profits, and that's good news. Why? Well, because competitors can't enter your market. Entering a market is a long-run decision. And so in the short run, until the long run comes along, and that's where it becomes really like, you know, theoretical and, and philosophical, you know, not, not so practical, okay? So as long as you're, you know, you and whatever companies are competing against each other in your market and you're profiting, you can just sustain those profits, okay? Because you don't have any competitors coming along entering your market. What about losses in the short run? Well, if your company is operating with its fixed resources, its limited fixed resources, and you're making your decisions about variable costs based on your fixed resources, but you're not profiting, you're, you're earning a loss, those losses can be endured. You can keep working through them. That's okay. You can keep going in. You can keep doing business even though you're losing money. In fact, that's often how, it's, how a lot of businesses, most businesses probably, start off, is they start off at a loss with limited fixed resources in the short run, but they have a plan for growing the business within their limited fixed costs uh, so that they eventually get to a profitable situation. And then hopefully they can sustain those profits. Okay. Now, why is it that you're going to keep enduring those losses in the short run? Well, you still have to recover your fixed costs. You still have a, a, a lease on your retail location. If you shut down, you still have to pay that rent, that monthly rent on that location. So by at least by staying in business, you'll earn some revenues that you can put toward your loan payment, put toward your rent and other things. OK, so in the short run, losses can be endured. That's OK, because we still have to recover some of our fixed costs. So those firms, they can't afford to quit. The long run is very different in the long run. A firm that is profiting in a market, those profits will not last. Why? Because a profitable company in a market is going to attract other businesses. Other businesses are going to say, hey, look, look at those three you know, companies over there in that market. They're earning a lot of profit over there. Well, in the, in the long run, why don't we go over in that market, open up and get some of that profit that they're getting? That's a great idea. And that's exactly what happens. Competitors can invest fixed resources in your profitable market. And then what that will do is it will erode your profits. They won't make as much as you were making. And then it'll get to the point where all the businesses are just sort of, well, for lack of a better term, we're going to learn in unit three, they're going to be earning zero economic profit. OK, and then in the long run, losses, losses are not acceptable in the long run. Think about it. In the long run, you're not committed to any fixed costs. You're not committed to any contracts. So why would you stick around and endure losses? You can just cut and leave. And so that's why losses are not acceptable in the long run. Since there are no fixed costs, you know, you shouldn't commit to an already losing situation. You should just you can just leave the market, okay? And this is uh, all the information uh, that I have for you that you'll need on uh, profit and loss uh, in the short run and in the long run.